January 25, perfect weather. Farmers who wait for perfect weather never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. Just as you cannot understand the path of the wind, or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother's womb, you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. Flushes says chapter 11, verses 4 and 5, New Language Translation. Have you ever found yourself planning that special event or trip that required perfect weather? It may have been a wedding, picnic, beach trip, or church event. You may have needed sunshine instead of rain, a cool breeze instead of scorching rays, or birds chirping instead of mosquitoes biting. So you may have checked your local weather channel for the forecast for that day, hoping all would be well. But the weather prediction we receive are not always perfect predictions. Sometimes the forecast is correct, while at other times we get worse weather than was predicted. Or, to our delight, we experience better weather than was expected. So it is with our journey here on Earth. We are in need of good weather to plant and harvest our crops. But sometimes, we delay planting and harvesting because we are waiting for perfect weather. Have you been waiting for great weather to plant the crop of writing that book? Starting that craft project? Joining the choir? Marrying that special someone you have been dating? Or starting that charity to help the less fortunate? Maybe you have been waiting for all the things you need to fall into place before you make a step in a particular direction. But in our key text today, Solomon reminds us that if we wait for the perfect weather, we may never plant and as a result, we won't have a harvest to reap. Consequently, we cannot be deterred by every cloud that appears to threaten our planting. So, plant your crops despite the cloud of discouragement, lack of funding, or lack of moral support. I challenge you today to ask God to direct you to the things He would have you do so that you can plant the special crops He has given you and reap a bountiful harvest for His glory. It just may happen that the harvest is so bountiful it goes far beyond what you imagine and with not enough room to receive it. May God bless you as you decide what crop to plant and harvest for His kingdom.